I'd like a show of hands. How many of you love your moms? Good. But do you love your mom enough to quit a well-paying job and start a software company for her? No. <laughs> I do. I do, and that's what I did. Uh, this is my mom. In 2010, she contracted a rare disease that left her completely paralyzed, and she spent six months in a rehabilitation hospital when she was with round-the-clock care. When she was released, she was sent home with some scribbled instructions and over a month wait to get back in for a checkup appointment. Frustrated with this terrible communication and lack of continuity of care, I decided to found Well Pepper with my co-founder, Mike Van Snellenberg, who I've worked with for a long time and is right here, so you can talk to him afterwards as well. And we built Well Pepper to dramatically improve the home treatment plans and outpatient care that really is the work of how patients get better. So here's how it works. Healthcare professionals create custom treatment plans that patients receive on their mobile devices. They're reminded when it's time to do something using our adaptive notification system. They open the application, they review their program, they check in, they record results, and the healthcare professional and the patient can review these results at any time. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Here's our patient. Her name is Nicole, and she's recovering from a back injury. She's notified when it's time to do something. She opens the application. She plays the video of herself that was recorded when she was in the hospital to remind her what she's supposed to be doing. Patients are more motivated when they see themselves, and they find it much easier to understand. She then checks in and says how it was. She can even provide, ask a question, of her healthcare professional. A lot of patients abandon their treatment plans in the first few weeks due to pain or confusion, and being able to have an electronic check-in can make a huge difference in their recovery. Tracking her results is very motivating for her, as well as knowing that her healthcare professional is looking at this too. So she can look at her daily progress, and she's also been assigned walking, and this is steps from her Fitbit pedometer integrated into this dashboard. For the healthcare professional, we knew that if it wasn't as quick and easy as scribbling down instructions, which is what they do today, they wouldn't fit into clinical practice. So that's how we built it. To be able to create a new program, you simply start recording. Here's our audience doing their exercise program. <laughs> you use that video. Wellpepper automatically uploads and encrypts it. and. When the parameters are set, it's delivered to the patient. So you can even change the program between visits. You can review what the patient's been doing this week, over time, and you can check in on those messages. And this is absolutely key, that connection and being able to get support. So to keep that patient on track, you'd probably say, yes, keep going and keep up the good work. And it makes such a huge difference to the patient. So for... for Okay, for patients, WellPepper provides continuity of care. It provides support rec for recovery. For healthcare organizations, they can catch problems before they become major issues, and they can lower costs. Both see better outcomes. We're working with a number of very large uh, research and healthcare organizations, a couple of very big ones locally, and they're starting to see these benefits. If you're intrigued by what you've seen today, if you're passionate about the ability for technology to change health, get in touch with us. Um, we're looking for developers. We're looking for help. We, the Seattle tech community, we know you can support us, and we're really excited to bring this to you. If, heaven forbid, you end up in needing outpatient care, tell your surgeon or your physical therapist about WellPepper. It's in the App Store. You can download it today. Thank you so much, and go hug your mom. So we'd like uh, questions and answers. Please raise your hand if you have a question. And Peach, please come and plug in. Thank you. We wanted a name that would appeal uh, to the end user. So a lot of healthcare software companies are very much around you know, health IT and appealing to the hospital. We wanted an app and a name that would appeal to the end user. 
We also wanted something that you could easily say, spell, and own the .com. So that's how it all came together. <laughs> Um, yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah, we're working. <laughs> we're working with uh, large health. We're working with large healthcare organizations as well as like we have a ton of free users. So for your chiropractor, um, he or she can go download in the app store and start using it right now for free. Uh, yeah, we're actually already working um, with Boston University on chronic disease management. Um, we're working with them uh, managing the population health of a group of Parkinson's patients, and then expanding into broader chronic disease management is, is definitely an opportunity. Every time we go and talk to um, a prospect, they basically tell us about three or four other scenarios that they'd like us to cover. So yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's a waving in the back there. I, I. We sell to the healthcare organization. It's free for the patients. Yeah, and it's it's free for individual users too. So for somebody that doesn't require a whole lot of HIPAA backup and you know the requirements that enterprises need, they can just like an individual like your chiropractor can just go download it and start using it. Um, yeah. Uh, sort of. <laughs> we uh, we have plans to to make it much easier for you as an individual patient to use it. Uh, right now, uh, we actually have patients who have downloaded it from the app store and are using it with the sample data that's in it. Um, right now, you need both um, the healthcare side to add the exercises, but um, we want to make that completely seamless so that you can do it yourself. But you can go in and show them and they can download it while, you, you know, while you're there. Yeah. Um, sorry, I have a oh, waving. Thank you for waving that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. The, it's really up to the healthcare organization how much they want to engage with the patient. So we actually let them set a service level agreement that says, here's how, how often I'm going to get back to you. What we found is that the larger organizations want to engage because they see this as lowering costs. So having an electronic check-in, the patient can also send back video. So they can re review it and say, you know what, you're doing well, don't come in, and l thereby lowering costs, or they can review it and say, you know, I, you have a really, you know, you, you definitely have a problem. Come back in as well. So, um, you know, we think, like, like I said, we designed it to be as easy as what they're doing today, or easier, and that's that's what they've told us. So. All right, that's uh, it for questions. Thanks. If you have any additional questions, you can always go to Well Pepper, like she requested at the end, or you can find her throughout the rest of the evening. Yeah. Ladies and, and gentlemen, let's hear it again for Well Pepper. Thanks.